Hello friends. Today I am going to start new series on Geek Protocol and I am going to introduce new network simulator. It's a Mimic Virtual Lab CCNA and here it is. Mimic Virtual Lab create a real world lab environment with a network of Cisco routers and switches. It gives hands on learning experience without buying expensive equipments. Before we go for a lab, I just introduced Gambit Communications. Gambit Communication is a provider of tools for simulating networking servers and storage devices. So let's start RIP protocol. RIP means routing information protocol. It widely used for managing router information within a corporate or a local area network. RIP sends its entire routing information to its closest neighbor. The main disadvantage of RIP is it sends entire routing table every 30 seconds. So it may put a heavy amount of extra traffic in the network. RIP supports IP and IPX and RIP utilizes UDP port 520. RIP router has administrative distance of 120. RIP has maximum hop count of 15 hops. That means any network that is 16 hop away or more is considered unreachable to the RIP. RIP has two versions, RIP version 1 and RIP version 2. RIP version 1 is a classful and RIP version 2 is a classless. RIP version 1 does not support VLSM and RIP version 2 fully support VLSM. RIP version 1 sends updates as a broadcast to address 255-255-255-255. RIP version 2 sends update as a multicast to 224.0.0.9. IP version 1 router will send only version 1 package. IP version 1 router will receive both version 1 and version 2 updates. See, it sends version 1 packet only but it receives version 1 and version 2 both packages but RIP version 2 router will both sends and receive only version 2 updates by default RIP version 1 enable in router unless RIP version 2 is uh, manually specified so we configure RIP in next video please provide me feedback if you like my videos thanks for watching thank you so much